Hello, it's Scott Manley here with some Kerbal Space Program. This is uh, something I was thinking of doing in Interstellar Quest, but will probably never happen, and because I'm having some production problems that are slowing down the next episode, I thought I'd show you this. Uh, and because I've seen a bunch of people building mechs, and I thought, this is my entry. I've previously made some mechs for Kerbal Space Program, but this is an improvement. At least I think it's an improvement. Uh, I call it the Athlete, the All-Terrain, Hexlimbed Extraterrestrial Explorer, which is a phenomenal acronym that was created by NASA, who actually have are building something like this for real, and I'm walk driving straight towards that rock. Let's try steering this just around. Look at that, it actually steers. Not because there's any mechanical linkage in the legs, but because there's reaction wheels all over this vehicle. We can actually take a look from the inside, and it looks not so bad. Look at that, walking down into the crater, because let's face it, with this kind of ambulation, it's probably not going to be walking out of the, this crater. <laughs> In fact, if it tries to walk up the hill, it will probably end up moonwalking backwards. How appropriate. Um, so yeah, it, it, the main innovation here I think that I want to point out is that I previously used legs that had two components. They had a, you know, one rototron there and one rototron there and a single bottom leg. Well, what I've done here is added this little extra segment here. And what this does is it turns the rotation of this first joint from a circle into an ellipse, which is elongated in the forward direction. So it's not lifting its legs miles into the air. Instead, it's lifting them just a little and... Uh, you know, hopefully getting much more forward motion into the bargain without having nearly so much, um, nearly so much wobble. And you saw that from the cockpit, it does actually look a little smoother than something that is incredibly rough. Uh, it's a little smoother than, say, sitting inside my washing machine during a spin cycle. I don't really know how, what I'm doing here, do I? There it is. Look, we actually managed to turn this thing and get around it. But yeah, the design uh, works relatively well. I'm running it at two times time acceleration, so it looks relatively good. The NASA version actually has wheels on the end of all of these. And I did try that, but it ended up just being even more explodey. <laughs> Jebediah Kerman is clearly enjoying himself. But yeah, Interstellar Quest will be back. I'm just, uh, as I said, undergoing some technical issues right now. Look, we can actually make this moonwalk. Watch this, we're gonna turn around. Yeah. Now let's see if we can walk uphill and see what happens. Uh it's it's going sideways. No. Nope. No. Nope. There we go. It ain't going anywhere. Ah uh, ha ha ha. I'm stuck in this crater and I ain't getting out anytime soon. And we can time accelerate as well and watch see if it'll really explode. No. Nope. No, oh yeah, it's doing some kind of weird dancing. Oh, there, there, look, that's it, that's it, moonwalking. It's like totally slide and it's way backwards. It looks like it should be walking forwards, but in fact it's backwards. It's like totally Michael Jackson with six legs and made of iron on the moon. I mean, like, seriously, how awesome is that? I'm Scott Manley, fly safe.